I want to finally build a second version of my Ludwig drone, the Ludwig drone 2.0, and to do so I had to get an RC controller. And here I have one. In this video I will show you how to use an RC transmitter with an Arduino. controllers are big and ugly, but that's the easiest way to create wireless projects like robots, car, planes, drones, whatever. I will use this Flysky 6 channel transmitter together with this receiver that was in the box. That's one of the ugliest transmitters on the market, but it is cheap and if it is cheap I can live with that. I will put a link to it in the description, so if you like ugly transmitters that's something for you. To power that we need 8 batteries. 8 batteries, why? It should easily work with 2 or 3 batteries, not 8. Receiver should be powered with 4.5 up to 6 volts, so we can just connect it to 5 volt pin on Arduino. To test if it works, I will supply 5 volt with Labbench power supply and connect a micro servo to it. Connect 5 volt and ground wires to the receiver and connect a micro servo to it. Make sure that you plug it in correctly. Now we are able to wirelessly control a servo motor. To reach channels with an Arduino we have to connect 5V ground and signal wires to the Arduino. Signal wire should be connected to pin number 9. We will also connect LED with 200 ohm resistor to the pin number 10 on Arduino. Because of resistor I used breadboard for that. To read channels data we will use pulse in method. In the program we will simply map value from pulse in that is between 1000 and 2000 milliseconds to value between 0 and 255 to control an LED with PWM. And here you have it, you can control brightness of LED with RC radio. That's how you can simply use this transmitter with an Arduino. I will include the link to the sketches in the description. And now let's actually do something funny. Let's build a robot that will be controlled with this transmitter. Well, technically it wouldn't be a robot, because... Okay, let's keep building and stop complaining. As a chassis for my robot, I will use this command tank. You can recognize that from my previous video. As you can see I tightened Arduino and everything else with screws or zip ties to the chassis so that it is nice and solid. Let's see how it works.
that wasn't a sophisticated project but definitely one of the funniest that I made recently. If you are curious how I made it, you can check out links to my GitHub and parts that I used in the description. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye!